This Eagles offseason is undoubtedly going to be insane. With free agency coming up in just about a week on March 15th, the Eagles definitely have a lot of work to do with 20 of their guys set to hit the open market, and they're going to have to do a lot of work to make sure they can bring back as many of those guys as possible. But in the weeks leading up to free agency, the Eagles have also been mentioned as a potential suitor for a lot of different star level players as their futures are uncertain heading into the offseason as well. And adding any one of these star players could be a big difference for the Eagles as they try to retool their roster for another Super Bowl run this coming season. But which of these moves is the most realistic and could we actually see the Eagles go out and be aggressive in trying to add one or multiple of these star players this offseason? Well, we're going to talk all about that in this video today. But before we do that, make sure you go subscribe to the channel for more Philadelphia Eagles coverage coming throughout the offseason. Free agencies coming up. We're going to have a lot of video shorts and potential live streams covering that whole period. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that. Now, with that being said, let's get into the video. The Eagles are definitely in a difficult situation to say the least. And with free agency quickly approaching, there's a ton of questions flying around as to who the Eagles are going to re-sign and who they're going to inevitably have to let walk away in free agency. And there's no doubt that there's going to be a decent amount of roster turnover for the Eagles this offseason. They don't have enough money to pay everybody and it's only going to get more difficult as time moves on for them to continue to fill out their roster with talent as Jalen Hurts extension is obviously looming and no matter how much he gets paid, it's definitely going to hinder the Eagles' ability to go out and spend money in other positions. And regardless of what some people might want to say, the Eagles are still no doubt in their Super Bowl window and they have to continue to look to make moves that are going to help them win now. That's exactly what the Eagles were able to do last offseason. And even though that's going to be harder to do this offseason, that's still something Howie Roseman and the Eagles front office is going to look into. And it's definitely possible that the Eagles go out this offseason and try to add another star player or two. As there's multiple stars around the league that are likely to be on the move this offseason, and several of these players have been linked to the Eagles. So we're going to take a look at each one of these guys and see just how realistic it is for the Eagles to make a move for any one of these players, and whether trying to acquire any of these stars is the right decision. So let's start out with a guy who I think is one of the biggest stars in the NFL today, and that is Derrick Henry. Just recently, we got a report saying the Tennessee Titans are shopping Derrick Henry, and obviously Derrick Henry is going to draw a lot of interest from a bunch of different teams around the league. He's probably the best running back in the game today. He's been the best running back in the league for a while now. And very surprisingly, the Eagles have been listed as the team with the second highest odds to have Henry on their roster at the start of the 2023 season on bookies.com. And I think that this is a huge shock. Obviously, we've talked about what the Eagles could do with their running back position moving forward. With Miles Sanders set to hit free agency, I think they could go with an in-house option and Kenny Gainwell, they could go look to address it in the draft, or they could look in free agency and try to find another cheap running back option. But we also talked about the potential of them going out and trying to add a star caliber player. And while I didn't think this was extremely realistic at the time, you can never rule out any possibility when it comes to Howie Roseman and the Eagles front office. And now that they're linked to Derrick Henry, I think that just reinforces that. And obviously Derrick Henry would clearly be the best option for the Eagles at running back from a talent perspective. Like I said, in my opinion, he's the best running back in the league. And he's one of the great power running backs that football has ever seen. And he's also one of the few running backs that's capable of carrying a team in the modern era. Obviously we saw in the 2019 to 2020 season, he was able to carry the six seeded Tennessee Titans through the playoffs into the AFC Championship game where no one expected them to be, and eventually they did lose to Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, but they took out Tom Brady and the New England Patriots and the 14-2 number one seed of Lamar Jackson-led Baltimore Ravens during their playoff run, and that was extremely impressive, and Derrick Henry was extremely dominant during that entire stretch, and he carried that team, and that's something that he's been capable of doing ever since he broke out as one of the best running backs in the league, and he's the kind of running back that Philadelphia has really been lacking ever since they had, I mean, kind of like Garrett Blunt and Jordan Howard were this type of running back, but not to the level that Derrick Henry is. Just a power running back. He's able to take contact and fight for extra yards. He's just a physical back. And if you were to add him to the Eagles offense, I think the Eagles offense could be historically great. The Eagles already, without Derrick Henry, had one of the best run games over the past two seasons in the entire NFL, and they have the best offensive line in all of football. And a large reason for the success of the Eagles running game over the past couple seasons is because of the rushing ability of Jalen Hurts and his ability to make the correct decision and use the RPO to his advantage and now if you were to add Derrick Henry to that that would just make it extremely unstoppable because you're forcing defenses to choose between 
Derrick Henry running the football this one direction or Jalen Hurts potentially pulling it and running it this other direction. And then you also have the possibility to pass it to any of your dynamic and elite pass catchers like AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and Dallas Goddard. I think that Eagles offense would be completely unstoppable. They would put up over 30 points per game. They'd probably be the best offense in the league. And I think, like I said earlier, they'd probably be a all time great level offense. And it would probably only require around a third round pick at most a second round pick to acquire Derrick Henry has one year left on his contract with the Titans. So this all sounds great but there are some drawbacks if the Eagles were to potentially make a move for Derrick Henry. One of those drawbacks is that the Eagles only have a limited amount of money. Right now, they're sitting at $6 million in cap space. Now, they can create up to around $30 million in cap space if they were to restructure the contracts of Darius Slay and Lane Johnson. So it's not like the Eagles have absolutely no money, but nonetheless, Derrick Henry is being paid $10 million next year in 2023 and that's a lot to pay a running back typically teams don't pay a running back that much and especially with all the impending free agents the eagles have ha paying a running back like derrick henry 10 million dollars would hinder their ability to go out and sign a bunch of these guys especially on the defensive side of the ball so say the eagles did go out and actually trade for derrick henry then you'd be relying a lot more on your offense to win you games next season because you're gonna inevitably lose a lot of talent on the defensive side of the ball obviously i think that's something the eagles are facing already but if you were to add derrick henry and be paying him that much much money it would make it a lot more difficult to even keep some of the guys that I think are expected to stay and the Eagles would have to rely a lot on the draft in order to build out the rest of their defense I still highly doubt that this move is gonna happen and ultimately as much as I like Derrick Henry I don't think the Eagles should go out and make this move you can still probably get pretty decent production in the running game from a guy that you go get in the draft or a guy in free agency and you don't have to spend big on a superstar level player like Derrick Henry to still have a very good running game as we've seen from the Eagles over the past two years. And typically the Eagles aren't a team that's going to go out and pay a running back big money. So ultimately I think this is a fun thing to talk about, a fun possibility, but I just don't see it happening. Now the next guy I want to talk about is Jalen Ramsey. The Rams have been shopping Jalen Ramsey in recent weeks and at the Combine just like the Titans have been shopping Derrick Henry and there's many teams in interested is Jalen Ramsey is still one of the best cornerbacks in the entire NFL and he has been for a while from his time with the Jaguars all the way till now when he's been with the Rams for the past few seasons he has consistently been one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL if not the best corner in the NFL in totality over these past few seasons and the Rams weren't really good this past season but Jalen Ramsey still had a very good season he had a career high in tackles at 88 and he tied his career high in interceptions with four he had one of the highest one-on-one -on -one grades for corners in the entire NFL last season. And he's also a guy that's going to bring some trash talk, some energy to the field. A guy kind of like CJ Gardner-Johnson in that way. Even if he's not stuffing the stat sheet, he's still going to make his impact felt in other ways. And Jalen Ramsey has been linked to the Philadelphia Eagles in several rumors. So then you got to ask the question, should the Eagles go out and make a trade for Jalen Ramsey? My answer is absolutely not. And don't get me wrong, Jalen Ramsey is a great, great player player but to me he's being paid too much for the Eagles to go out and make a play for him he's making 17 million dollars in base salary this next season and that's a lot of money to pay a cornerback and you'd also have to give up a lot of assets to get Jalen Ramsey as it's being reported that he's expected to net a return of a first round pick for the LA Rams and you could also argue that Darius Slay and James Bradbury both had just as good seasons as Jalen Ramsey if not even better and it's looking like at this point that the Philadelphia Eagles are going to lose James Bradbury in free agency to some other team that's willing to pay him the amount of money that he's looking for but the thing is James Bradbury is going to be cheaper than paying Jalen Ramsey there so there's no sense if they're just going to let Bradbury walk and then going out and trying to trade for Jalen Ramsey especially if you have to give up a first round pick or a high round pick in the process the Eagles just don't have the money and there's no logical reason for doing that so it's for that reason that I don't see the Eagles going out and making a play for someone like Jalen Ramsey and I'd like to see them go out and try to address that cornerback position in the draft and I think that's the direction the Eagles should move regarding the cornerback. But yeah, overall, do not trade for Jalen Ramsey. Now, the next guy I want to talk about is Bobby Wagner. And Bobby Wagner recently was just cut by the LA Rams to save cap space. He's now a free agent, and obviously he's generated a lot of interest. He's still one of the best linebackers in the entire NFL, even as he's getting up there in age. Bobby Wagner is a nine-time All-Pro throughout the course of his career with the Seahawks, and now his one year with the LA Rams, in which he also made an All-Pro this past season, where he had 140 tackles, six sacks and two interceptions very very impressive stats from Bobby Wagner in his first year with the LA Rams after spending his entire career prior to that with the Seattle Seahawks he came in and he learned a new defense a new system and he had a lot of success in that and he became a leader of the Rams defense in 2022 despite them not being 
a very good team. And I think Bobby Wagner would be a great fit for the Philadelphia Eagles who have been linked to him ever since he was cut by the Rams and rumors have continued to come out about where he could potentially end up. And with the Eagles two starting linebackers from last season set to hit the open market, that's all the more reason for the Eagles to look into the possibility of signing Wagner. And for the right price, I think the Eagles should definitely go out and try to get him. Last season, he made a total of $6.5 million, but he only had a base salary of $1.5 million, and he was set to make $11 million total in 2023, but obviously he was cut. And if he's willing to take somewhat of a pay cut to come to Philadelphia and to try to win a Super Bowl, which is what Bobby Wagner wanted to do, that's why he went to the LA Rams in 2022, because he thought there were going to be a Super Bowl contender. Obviously, they were the Super Bowl champions. He wants to win. And if he were to come to Philadelphia on a slight discount in attempts to win the Super Bowl, I think that that would be a great thing for both sides. And I think he'd be a great fit for multiple reasons and not just because of his impressive play on the field, but also because he could help mentor some of the young guys in that Eagles locker room, specifically N'Kobe Dean, who the Eagles selected in the third round of the 2022 NFL Draft. And he's probably going to be a starter this year and Bobby Wagner would be a great mentor to him. And obviously, he's going to continue to give you that elite production on the field that we're so used to seeing from Bobby Wagner throughout the course of his entire career. And out of all these different players, I honestly think that this is the most realistic one for the Philadelphia Eagles to go out and make a move to try to acquire this offseason. I think he, out of all these guys, is the guy that you would have to pay the least amount of money. And I do think this would probably be for like a one-year rental type of deal for him to just try to come in and help us win the Super Bowl next season. But I think, obviously, like I said, the Eagles are in win-now mode. They're trying to win a Super Bowl. And adding Bobby Wagner would only help the Eagles with that goal. I really think this would be a great move. I definitely think the Eagles should go out and try to sign Bobby Wagner. And then the last guy I do want to talk about is Khalil Mack. Now, there's rumors out there that he could potentially be cut by the LA Chargers in order for them to create cap space, as they're $20 million over the cap and they have to clear up cap space somehow. So should Khalil Mack be cut, the Eagles could be a team that's potentially interested in him. Over the course of his entire career, Khalil Mack has been one of the best pass rushers in the league, and he has slowed down a little bit as of late. He's been dealing with some injuries here and there, but he still is a very, very good player. And last year, he had a good season in his first year with the Chargers, as he had eight sacks. So then you have to ask the question, should Khalil Mack be cut by the Chargers? Chargers, is it realistic to assume that the Eagles would be a team that's going to try and make a play for him? I think it'd be really tough. Khalil Mack is a guy that if he's going to get cut, I would assume he's going to go out and try to look for as much money as he can get. And he's going to draw a lot of interest from a lot of other teams around the league. And I don't think that the Eagles, were they to be interested in him, would be the team that's able to offer him the most money. As like I said, they have a limited amount of cap space. They have a lot of guys they have to try to bring back. I don't think they, they would be able to offer Khalil Mack the kind of deal he'd be looking for. And in addition to that, the Eagles still have two great pass rushers off the edge in Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat. So that's not exactly one of the biggest positions of need on the Eagles roster right now. And I would be more comfortable if the Eagles were to go out and if they were gonna spend that amount of money on a player, they should go and do it at a different position. I don't necessarily see edge rusher as a position where you have to spend a lot of money in free agency this year. And it's for those reasons that I just stated that I really don't see this happening. I don't think the Eagles are gonna go out and make a play for Khalil Mack should he be cut by the Chargers. So out of all these moves, I think that the most realistic is clearly Bobby Wagner. And then after that, I think there's a tiny chance that the Eagles go and try to make a play for Derrick Henry. And then the other two moves, Jalen Ramsey and Khalil Mack, I just don't see those happening. I don't see those two moves as being realistic at at all for the Eagles. And the bigger issue for the Eagles in the offseason is who should they keep in free agency and who are they going to let walk? And with free agency coming up next week, we're going to talk all about those things in future videos. So if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you go subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss when any of those videos go up. And if we do any potential live streams, you'll be notified as well. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like down below to show some support. If you do want to watch another Philadelphia Eagles video, you can go watch that right here. And with that being said, that's pretty much all I got for this video, guys. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.